Hello everybody, today we're gonna to be reacting to the brand new Nintendo Direct that was just launched, which announced a bunch of different things like the brand new trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, Metro Prime Remastered, and much more. So this is some of the best moments and the highlights and my reactions from those moments. So I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Pikmin! This looks like Pikmin 1. Oh, is that a new character? I'm not too familiar with Pikmin. I'm mostly just gonna shut up and let you guys watch this one. I'm not too familiar with Pikmin. Do people like Pikmin? Do y'all like Pikmin? This looks very much like a classic Pikmin, which I'm assuming is what people want, right? I'm assuming people kind of want the traditional one. An ice Pikmin, huh? Oh, are they gonna freeze the ice? Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, what a good boy. Oh shit, boss? No, don't kill the Pikmins! That is a big boy. Um. Seven twenty one twenty twenty three. That's pretty soon, Chad. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hi. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you. All right, here we go. Is this that Bayonetta? Is a real gem. Bayonetta? Introducing oh. Volume Three of the Xenoblade Chronicles Three Expansion Pass DLC. Say hello to Masha. Dude, this is a good-looking PlayStation 3 game. Launches on the Nintendo Switch. Damn, that's soon. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, this is sad. Damn it! I have no idea what this is supposed to tell me. I've never played Splatoon. This is new. You can ride the subway. Hmm. Immersion. I think it's a Kirby game. Damn it. Oh, I got so excited when it's faded into black. I want them to remake Kirby 64 Crystal Stars. It's like the best Kirby game of all time. All he can do now is a basic attack and jump. <laughs> so bad. I think if you're a 2D Kirby fan, you will like this game. I just never been into the 2D Kirby's too much. Here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Please take a look at this. Okay, please be good. Please be good. Come on. I told you the Game Boy was gonna re get released. I told you, Chad. I was hoping for Game Boy Advance, but at least Game Boy is better than nothing. Let's introduce the games that will be available at launch. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetraminos and aim for a high score. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. The Legend of Zelda links away. We already deal. have a remake Awaken of this game. To escape Covalent Island. Gargoyles Please quest. tell me we're getting Oracle Save of Seasons and Ages at least. Don't debate us like this. Series. Unless you're gonna announce a remake of them. Gallery 3, Shadow Island. I'll be super down Metroid if they release. Dude, Sand. I would love if Destroy they added the Pokemon to this. Planet SR Kirby's Dreamland. Oh boy, more Kirby. And spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. You can use the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or Game okay, Boy. Okay, that's Color actually Game really players. cool. I like that. That's Up a Drake. Players can play compatible that's games actually really cool. Or online. More games will be added in the oh, future. Oh sheesh! I was hoping for a remake of and Seasons of Ages. Yes! Let's go! That's what I wanted! Game Boy Advance Minish Cap, give me Fusion! Give me Metroid Fusion! Give me Metroid Fusion! Games that you can play at launch. Metroid! Super Advanced Metroid! Super Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh! A good game! Equally zany attacks. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Oh! Shrink to miniature size and dive into a big adventure. <gasps> Metroid Fusion! Let's well. go! Hey, Golden Sun, there you go, Chad. After this presentation, you can play these Game Boy titles with the Nintendo Switch Online membership. Or play both Game Boy and Wait, Game right Boy now? Advance titles with the Nintendo Switch Online right now? Expansion Pack membership. And after today's Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to play the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles we introduced. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch Online and Nintendo Switch Online First good Plus news. Pack in the future. Let's see a few more headlines. 
the original Metroid Prime. Yes! 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 Oh my god, it looks so good! It looks so good! It's not just upscaled! It's not just upscaled! Oh my god! It looks so good! It looks so good! It looks so good! I'm streaming all of the games the day they come out. All three of them on stream. I'm literally telling you all three of them instantly. I don't care. All three of them on stream. Insta. I've been waiting so long to replay Metroid Prime. Oh, it's just the first one? I don't care. I don't even care if it's just the first one. I'll still do it. Uh, I, I don't even care. I'll still do the first one. Doesn't matter. It's my favorite. It doesn't matter. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. From the perspective it's so of good! But beware, there's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. It looks so good! Are the key to your I can't believe they remade it and didn't just upscale it. On clues on how to progress. Depending on the situation, a certain visor may be required. It looks when so good. Attack, keep them in your I don't even care if it's $60, features. I'll pay it in a heartbeat. Back with beams. Missiles, bombs, and more. This remaster adds new dual stick controls. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That's so nice. Oh, thank God. You also select a control style that recreates the feel of the original game, among other control options. And they keep the old one, too, if you like it. With your preferred play style. The digital version of Metroid Prime Remastered launches on Nintendo eShop later today. No this way! Of the game Holy! Available in stores oh my god! I'm plugging my joy cups into charge. They need to charge. Charge, charge, charge. Oh my god, charge your joy cons. Charge your joy cons. Charge skills to charge the joy -cons. Oh my god. Shinigami, the spirit haunting him. Will solve the Dude, if they the talk about the Zelda in the end of this, this is the best be direct I've had in so long. Literally. Originally Chad, we just have to pray Nintendo that Game Breath of the Wild is the last announcement. Dude, I am living the life I like. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna play Metroid oh, Prime remake one today. One oh my life. god. I have never been happier in my life. Become a woodcutter. Hey, this is literally like Animal Crossing. Oh no, this is a recap. Please tell me that they have one last thing. Please tell me they have one last thing. Thank you for staying with us so no, far. No, please. This will be our last segment. Okay. Please take a look. Please. Please, Tears of the Kingdom. That's it. It, it has to be Tears of the Kingdom. It literally is. Okay. 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 What is that enemy? Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Is that the towers on the sides? That's shining up? What is this? Rise, rise my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors. What, what the hell? Oh, a new paraglider? Oh my god. Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. What is that? What was that arrow that automatically went to him? Holy sh what is that? What is up with my hand? 
Oh my god, this is the new abilities? I have a car! A plane! A helicopter! A drone! Zelda! <sighs> yeah, it can't, it, there's no way it's delayed again. That was The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. In addition to the standard version, a collector's edition of the game containing I'm various it. items will release I'm buying on March Day. A new amiibo figure of Link in this it. game will also be available on Give the Give me a Switch day. too. We hope you're looking forward oh, okay. to Link's latest grand adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. An actual good direct. I I am beyond happy. I am beyond happy, Chad. Now we have to rewatch that. We have to rewatch that last part, Chad. There's a lot of stuff in that trailer. I need to analyze it a bit. Uh, I think this also almost confirms my prediction that we weren't going to have bombs left because a lot of people have been asking me if do you think BILs will still be in Breath of the Wild and Ice and Tears of the Kingdom and I said I think that they're going to change the ruin system and not keep this same type of Agnesis stasis bombs. I'm guessing that new kind of arm thing he has is how he controls things. I think those other things were the new abilities. So I don't think you're going to have the throwing bombs. This is like a new enemy. I do not recognize this. I don't even recognize from another Zelda game. I think they're brand new. I played the majority of the Zelda games. I do not recognize that at all. This I thought was interesting. So these are, it looks like the towers. Would you all agree with me on this? It looks like these are the towers and they're shining light, maybe from underground. I don't know what this is though. I, I do not know what that is. This is obviously the new platforms that is above. These, I noticed they changed up. Uh, so these are, they're mining for something. And this looks like a brand new area. If I had to guess, this probably is the underground. Would you all agree with me? I think this might be the underground because it seems like there's underground stuff. So this seems like a cave or some sort of underground system. They're mining some sort of mineral. Look, it looks like a three-headed dragon. Do you see that? There's like fire here and there's fire here and here and there's two heads and there's like the tail and it looks like kind of wings. Look, it's definitely three heads. Yeah, so it's a three-headed dragon. This, look at this. What is that? Is that some sort of, this, I'm assuming this is a platform to either go up into the sky or below the ground. It looks like this might be a way to like shoot yourself up, if I had to guess. That's my guess right now. This kingdom and her allies leave no survivors. Also, I'm guessing that's Ganondorf. <clears throat> Oh, I also noticed this. Look at the bokoblins. These are special bokoblins. Do you see like the the almost like sword or spikes that's coming out of their head? Do you see that? And there's different kinds too. Like this other one had like just like one spike in it. Do you see there's like one thing extending up here? And then this next one, it has like a almost like a pitchfork. These two have like a sword on them. Horse. This looks really cool. It looks like the guardian arms. Also, another note, this guy is blowing the horn. Before, only the lookout bokoblin that was a small red one on the towers that had the bow could blow the horn to spawn more. Here, this gigachad one is blowing the horn. This one, same thing. He has a new thing in the head. What is that on the... I didn't even notice it. Look at the loot he has on his neck. Because usually what's hanging down is loot, like weapons and stuff. Also here, a new paraglider, and like a little, these things I think are new. Horse. 
This is not the same as the vanilla game. This, the grass looks different. God, I hope it looks better in game though, in terms of graphics, but anyways. Uh, this, like there's no structures or anything here. Like th this is like fully grown, this is different. And like the structures that would be here in Breath of the Wild are not here. So maybe it's a different time period or maybe it got destroyed, I have no idea. This is really cool that they can fly above and like jump down, I'm guessing. This is really cool. Once again, different things on their heads. This, I'm guessing a way to fight him is that you jump up on him. Kind of like the mecha guy on Super Mario Odyssey, do you know what I mean? This reminds me of like one of those things where I'm supposed to like kind of get on top of it. You know what I mean? Like this is looks like an opportunity to run up here. And like there's like a damage spot up here. Monka W. This witch or whatever she is is messing things up. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. It looks so good. Is that gap there in the vanilla game? I it, I don't recognize this cliff. Or is that is that Hebra and that's the edge of the map? I can't tell. If it's Hebra, yes. If not, I'm not sure. Anyways. Look at that. You remember earlier how I said that there was like a bright blue thing that looks like it's taking you up into the sky? Look at this right here, Chad. Maybe this is a way to go into the ground, into the cave area. Because it's kind of the opposite. Instead of a bright blue going upwards, that kind of looks like it's kind of going down into the ground. But I'm not sure. Also, I don't want I want to know what these symbols are and stuff. Also, this tower is brand new. This structure is new. The towers here look completely different right here. Like this does not look like a normal tower at all. Also, look at this new sh bow. So it, he shoots it and it automatically whoop, That's new. Also, there's an, there's apples hanging down from the tree there. There's some sort of rocks there. He can slide with his shield down these railings now on a mountain, which by the way, this was not in the vanilla game. There's also a new rock type here that we have not seen before. Here, he looks like he's using a sort of magnesis strat, and he can move up and down on left and right. You can see here, there's like kind of like a guidance system, and he's rotating this platform here. Look at that. This reminds me of, if anyone picked up the- wait, it's like a goddamn cannon! Holy sh! look at that! And it automatically also goes towards the weak spot. That's really cool. Look at my hand, dude. It looks like, it actually looks like the, like the witch's hand. Like legitimately, my hand kind of looks like the witch's hand. Here, look at this, another power-up that's being used by the hand. That's what I'm saying, I think that's how you have your new abilities. It's by that like hand thing. It looks like a sort of magnesis of sorts. Look at this car too, and you can tell, I'm guessing it's also spawned by the hand, because it has the same texture as the other two powers. You know the other two powers I used? It had like kind of like a green hue to them to indicate that I'm being used by a power. Do you see the green hue that is applied to this too? So I'm guessing this is the sort of like new powers that I have. Also same here, do you see the green hue that is used here? Around the balloon that controls it? Same here, do you see this green hue? These holes too. Oh, wait, there's something falling from the sky here. Please, lend him your power. Also, here, it looks like this is like kind of a concept art book or something like that. Uh, they also have this really cool like kind of metal booklet, the game, this sort of thing. This looks awesome. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god, new post! New post! Oh my god, that's so cool! New post! The Link Amiibo from The Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom will launch alongside the game on May 12th. By tapping the Amiibo, you'll receive weapons and material, as well as a special fabric for Link's paraglider. Scanning Amiibos from the Zelda franchise will also give you helpful material and weapons, and give you custom paragliders. So with this one, you get this one. 
for the horse amiibo, you get a black one. If you scan the Twilight or the Skyward Sword one, you get this look. And if you scan the Majora's Mask link, you get a Majora's Mask paraglider. I'm curious if there's more because they only showed us four. So there are some they are holding back. Show us Nintendo. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy the uh, the amiibo now for Majora's Mask because I really want that paraglider.